So this is a corner plant project, sometimes called a frame plant. And the idea there is to just be able to join two pieces together that have 45 degree miter cut or half lap joint or any other kind of 45 degree angle joint. So join those together and hold them in place so you can either glue it or add fasteners to secure those two pieces together. And I've got, you know, this is kind of my, my prototype test case here. I just cut out some scrap pieces of wood to form a little, like say a small box or picture frame type uh, <clears throat> project there. And so I've got these two pieces right here. And what, what you do is you just drop them into these two slots right here, which there's, this is really a, just a clamp. Basically, you can either loosen up or tighten, tighten down on this nut knob and that drives this, this kind of stop block piece this way and sound, uh, clamps down on each of the work pieces, right? That's kind of standard for a corner clamp. But what's different about this jig is that you have micro adjustments that can be done that can, that can move the work piece in or out and then also be able to move the work piece or twist the work piece like this or like this. And the idea there is that like when you, when you join these guys together, sometimes just like what's shown right here, you'll end up with a tight fit at the very tip and then a loose fit back here, or it could be the reverse, right? So this, this jig, it, the intent was to be able to try and address those things, to be able to move the work pieces into where you get the best fit. So it's really tight and where it, it, it is, uh, ends at a sharp point at the end. Right, so, and, and how that's done is that you've got these two bolts right here on each side. And by tightening up on those bolts, what, what that does is it will move this, this side, this clamp right here inward, right? And then if I just tighten one side, that's going to have the effect of twisting it like this. Or reverse as I can leave this as is, tighten that guy, and then it will have effect of, of rotating the work piece like that. So that's how you get the micro adjustments and it's on both sides, right? So to make this, to do this, what, what, I, what I do is I'll, I'll set the work pieces in place and get them aligned as, as good as I can. And then just, but not, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just cinch down on these, these clamps on, on each side. And they don't have to be held very tightly. It's surprising how, how well these, these little clamps hold. You don't have to cinch down on very tightly. Okay, and that's not too bad, right? I'm going to zoom in on this, this area right here to show you that better. Okay, so this is the close-up shot of the joint. And there's several things that are, are wrong with this, this joint as is, you know, where I, I can just roughly uh, place these guys together and clamp them down. You can see that they're not even, right? And that part the vertical adjustment that part's fairly easy to adjust you just you can just use your your fingers uh, to adjust the pieces and get the those heights to be where they need to be and then feel uh, to make sure that both pieces are level right so that's fairly easy to do the next one is that these guys there, there's a there's a get this is tight right here on this side but it's loose right here this this gap between the two pieces loose right there and then in addition you've got the points on the, both of these guys are not lining up perfectly. See this guy right here, he's inward just a little bit too much, right? So that's where, that's where these, the, these micro adjustments can come in. And you can, you can tighten up those bolts with either a wrench or even a ratchet if, if needed. And the reason why I put the, the, the bolt heads on the inside was so that you could have multiple instances of these corner clamp jigs on a, a, a frame, a picture frame, for example. So you could have four of these on each of the corners all at the same time, right? So you need to be able to access from the inside of the jig, not the outside of the jig. Uh, that's the reason why you have to access on the inside with this design. And so, yeah, so what I wanna do is I want to, I want to move this piece inward and then I also want to twist it like this to get this guy tightened up and then move that point that way just a little bit so if I tighten up on this side 
Move that guy in a little bit, and then I'll move this guy in a little bit. Tighten that up. You see how that moves? Just tightening it up. Okay. Move that guy in a little bit more, and I'll move this guy in. Right, that's pretty good right there. The the the, the top side is tight. Now the, the the other thing you gotta check though is on the back side also. Make sure the back side is not nice and tight as well. And you might have to tighten up a little bit more uh, to get the back side tightened up in some cases. You know, I wanted to show you kind of the back side of this jig. And I can see right now by flipping this over, I can see that the bottom side is not quite tightened up enough yet. And this this hole here in the base of the jig, that's so you can get in here and like say wipe glue away or check the how flush the bottom side is, or you could even you know start adding fasteners, like say if you were screwing a half lap joint together or you want to come in with a brad nailer or something like that. So that's what this hole in the bottom of the jig is for. But I can see, just visually see that there's there's a gap here on the bottom side. So I'm, I need to tighten this guy up a little bit more to force those guys together. So I want to maintain the, t the nice tight joint on the top side, but I want to get that bottom side tightened up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cinch down on this a little bit more. Usually, when my experimenting with this thing is that it goes pretty quickly getting this guy tightened up in, in the right spot. It makes a nice tight joint. You reset the, or check the vertical adjustment, make sure that that's where you want it, nice and flush. And then we'll check the back side again. And that is much better. I mean, that looks pretty good. That looks about as good as I'm going to get right there. So. Yep, so that is the project.